Hey friend, it's Matt Skinner with bbxforyou.com and in this quick video, I'm going to share with you how to install the WordPress application onto your domain um, using GoDaddy. So what you're going to want to do is after you log into your GoDaddy account, you're going to click on your quick links at the top and you're going to click on the manage hosting button. And once you do that, it's going to take you to your hosting accounts and you're going to want to click on manage in the cPanel section here to manage your hosting account so that you can go ahead and add WordPress to your website. And then once you get to the cPanel section, you're going to go ahead and go to the web application section right here and you're going to click on WordPress. And after you click on WordPress, you're going to go ahead and click on install this application. After doing so, it'll bring you to this page and it gives you an option of where in the directory you would like to to install WordPress. Now you could type in blog here if you already had a website and WordPress was just going to specifically be the blog for your website. But in this scenario, our website is actually going to be the domain name. So we're just going to want to keep it in what's called the root directory, which is just the forward slash and you're going to have nothing here. So as you see, it shows the HTTP 980tracks.com forward slash and that is the root directory. So like I said, we're going to install 3.81 um, with the language of English. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have that you have uh, all of these set. I accept the license agreement, create a backup and update, uh, do not automatically update WordPress plugins, do not automatically update WordPress themes. And then in this section here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to select an administrator username. Uh, you're going to uh, select an administrator password and an admin email. Um, in that location, you'd put your email that you want to use, the most relevant one and uh, you know best one that you have to get the installation of the website. And then you want to make sure that you use a good username and a good password inevitably. And then you're going to go ahead and put in here the, the name of the site. Just for now, we're just going to be pretty basic with it. Now, there's other, you know, SEO things that you can do, um, you know, on your website after you get it, you know, get it installed. But what we're going to do right now is we're just going to put 980 tracks there for the website title, the tagline. I mean, of course, you would use whatever your name of your company was um, for the website title and tagline. And after you do that, you're going to make sure that you uh, you don't need to use the multi-site um, limit attempt login attempts. Let's say no on that. And then um, you're going to scroll down here to the advanced and automatically manage advanced settings for me. Yes. And then we'll go ahead and click on install. After doing so, it'll bring us to this screen. And as you can see, it is installing WordPress onto our root, root directory for our website. It's almost done. All right, we're complete. And if we go ahead and click on 980 tracks here right now, a lot of times it doesn't pop up really quick. Um, it takes a little bit sometimes for it to appear, oh, but as you can see, the installation has already gone through. Uh, the 980 tracks, 980 tracks WordPress installation is already successful, and that is how you install the application for WordPress from your GoDaddy account. And uh, that's it. Just wanted to go ahead and share that with you, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. If you found this information useful, please share, comment, or like on the video.